Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one uh, feature um, that's very useful in MATLAB, which is minimizing functions. Uh, and it's very useful in many cases. We will discuss um, some of them maybe today or uh, in the next video. So the um, the point here is that you have a function and it is a function of a variable. Um, and you need to get the value of this variable that gives you a minimum value of this function and it it, it happens a lot in many cases like um, what we have here like this example of getting the optimum diameter of a pipeline and it's a very very uh, famous problem that you have a pipeline that uh, you want to pick a diameter for this pipeline and if you get a big diameter then you would get uh, low uh, friction losses and in this cases you would uh, pay less for the pumping or the operating cost however this will cost more for the initial cost the pipe diameter is big so its cost is higher and in this case you would pay more for the fixed cost and and this is how the the operating the, the fixed cost would be or would, would look like it will get as the pipe diameter increases then you will get higher 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 and higher till you get a maximum value at the maximum diameter that you have and uh, on the other hand you would get less uh, friction losses and therefore less pumping cost and operating cost as you get uh, uh, more uh, bigger diameters um, and the sum of these two functions would be something like this it's very big in this part because the the uh, operating cost is very high and it's very high on this side because the fixed cost is very high and what we are seeking is the optimum diameter and then you need to get the to, to get this optimum diameter you need to get the the um, the fixed cost and the operating cost as a function of diameter and to minimize this function um, that you are uh, using to calculate the total cost uh, of the pipeline so it's it's a pretty um, famous example and there are other example we will solve one other example in the next video i, th I think it's in the next video to do this you have two functions which is f min bound and if min search so these two functions do uh, quietly the same thing uh, it, it gets the minimum value of the function uh, but this is uh, more simpler or it doesn't work for for all the cases it works for uh, one variable uh, a problem so you have diameter you have x whatever you have only one value uh, variable that you are trying to use to do the minimization however if min search can work for more than one variable uh, this uh, it's it's called f which called it, it it stands for the function m i n which is the minimization m b in uh, b and d is the bound uh, so you have two boundaries, uh, two values, and you are seeking the minimum in between these two values. And the ifMan search is very, very much like the um, uh, the if solve. So it uh, you give an initial value, and it se seeks the minimum value around this initial value that you are uh, providing to the system. Um, and we will see now one example of doing this. The the syntax for the two functions is quite the same, uh, with a small difference. So for f min bound, you you define the function. It's a function uh, uh, function handle, and this is the initial and the final value. So uh, x1 has to be smaller than x2, and x, which is the output, would be somewhere in between these two values, as we discussed before. If min search again, it gives you 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 just provide the initial value. Um, and we will see how you can get more outputs of fmin search like what we get from fmin bound before uh, or the f sold before. So let's see this example. You have this equation f of x equals 4 multiplied by the part m multiplied by all this uh, stuff. So I put them side by side now and I want to first define the function. So I call it f equals um, at x. Uh, 4 e 10 multiplied by cosine of 2 multiplied by x multiplied by exponential of negative 2 multiplied by x so this is the uh, function that I want to get the minimum value of and it tells me that it's between negative 12 and 10 so simply for um, I would say x1 uh, equals f min bound 
and then I need to define the function the initial value or the, the first value and then the next value and it will give you negative 11.3883 we can kind of check that by doing f plot of the function f um, and put the boundaries between negative 12 and negative 10 and to make it easier for us to see I put grid lines and I'm now waiting for it to do the plotting somehow it's oh again um, it, 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 I'm, I'm happy that this problem uh, showed up when you see this um, this error uh, it's because you are doing uh, vector you are doing uh, vector multiplication not elemental multiplication so I would um, in, in a case like this the solution that will make life easier is to Put all the multiplications as elemental multiplication. This will make your life way easier. Um, and now you you do the plotting without having any issues. Now um, it's it's not showing that that problem. So the the um, the problem is is kind of uh, or or the minimum value is very clear here. It is negative 11.4, and the output was um, I'm sorry. Um, negative 11.3883 so it's it's getting something that is very close it's it's actually actually here something like that um, I'm not sure if you can do this or not but uh, I know that it works for um, fmin search yeah so it gives you the value and the 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 value of x and the value of the function which is something multiplied by 10 to the minus uh, neg uh, 10 power 20 but this is negative 2 point something which is negative 2.2 .2 multiplied by 10 power 20 so it's 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 kind of matching um, what we did here um, let's see if I if I want to use the if min search um, so I'm gonna call it x2 is f min search <coughs> and then the function f and I just need to put one initial value I put it negative 11 which is the average between the two values that we are working with again it's giving the same output you can ask it to put you f2 and value 2 and here it gives you the same output so it's 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 very useful actually to to do this um, in in many cases you wouldn't have uh, the luxury to do the plotting and, uh, and and it might be difficult to pick the the actual value um, I think I did something wrong because it gives something different uh, so the equation that we put is 4 multiplied by 10 for 10 cosine to x oh I did the multiplication it has to be the division um, yeah you, you have to be careful about these uh, these mistakes um, yeah it's negative 10 and negative 17 and, let, and let's see how the f plot would look like um, now yeah 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 this makes this makes sense so so, so now it's, it's giving the same output um, so um, this is the solution that we got you can do the same thing like we did before I'm not gonna do it because it's kind of replicating what we did before to, to put the equation in a um, an m file and to use the function and call it give it a name like the min minimum lecture and then put the equation here and then refer to it by add adding at the file name instead of doing the um, uh, writing the function handle so um, it's 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 the same thing um, one thing that will show the difference between the two equations or the two functions is the this example so in this example we have um, a function that is a function of x1 and x2 so there are two variables now that we are um, trying to change the values to get the minimum value um, and to do this we will uh, write it the same way that we did before it's x1 and x2 so it is I mean, or even it's an x and y you would put it as x1 and x2 so it's one 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 matrix that contains two variables um, and to save time I will just get this here so I'm not writing everything again and um, where is it yeah uh, so I'm now defining this function and I would do the same thing um, I would call it Z 
and val3 if min search of course if min bound will not work here because you need to provide two values so i it, it asks me to put initial values of negative two and two so i'll put negative two two um i think uh maybe i need to nope um it's f min search. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I put f, it's it's function, not f. Yeah. So so now it works. It gives you the value of the function, which is something multiplied by ten to the minus ten. So it's very very small value, and it tells you, you that it is one and one. Again, if you can, if you need to change the values like negative three and three, it should give you something almost the same. Um, so it's a um, little difference between these two, but it gives the uh, this and this. Um, there might be some small difference uh, between, uh, or it's not exactly one, I think, because, um, I don't know, maybe it's exactly one, because there's a small difference here, I mean, it's 1.000 and then something that is like, after seven or eight zeros that's why it's not showing up here anyway so you can you can do this here and again you can do the same thing in a separate um, m file and then to refer to it um, using the at and the file name so this is how we do the function minimization in the next video i'm gonna show you an example of uh, getting the critical thickness of an um, insulation um, i'll discuss it and then see how we'll solve it, solve it in my lab so I'll see you then. Goodbye.